Coming back to the region now, the total lockdown imposed in Aizol and other district headquarters in Mizoram from the 10th of May has been extended for another seven days to flatten the COVID transmission curve. A Mizoram government order issued today said that the existing complete lockdown, which was scheduled to be lifted on the 31st of May, has now been extended till the 7th of June. As COVID-19 cases continue to surge in spite of the stringent measures being taken, it has been decided to continue with the total lockdown with an anticipation of flattening the curve of the disease transmission, the order said. All shops, barring those dealing with essential commodities, vegetables and meat, will remain closed during the extended lockdown period. However, economic and agriculture activities will continue to function smoothly under strict adherence to the COVID-appropriate behaviour in other areas outside ISOL and the district headquarters, the order said. Furthermore, government offices and commercial banks will also be allowed to remain open under strict COVID protocols outside the jurisdiction of the state capital and other district headquarters. So indeed, there was a big development coming in from Mizoram. The total lockdown which was imposed in Aizol and other district headquarters from the 10th of May has now been extended for another seven days in order to flatten the COVID transmission curve. Well, a Mizoram government order issued today said that the existing complete lockdown, which was scheduled to be lifted on the 31st of May, has now been extended till the 7th of June. As COVID-19 cases continue to surge in spite of the stringent measures taken, it has been decided to continue with the total lockdown with an anticipation of flattening the curve of the disease transmission, the order stated. Well, as per the order, all shops, barring those dealing with essential commodities, vegetables and meat, will remain closed during the extended lockdown period. However, economic and agricultural activities will continue to function smoothly under strict adherence to COVID-appropriate behaviours in other areas outside ISOL and the district headquarters. Furthermore, government offices and commercial banks will also be allowed to remain open under strict protocols of COVID-19 outside the jurisdiction of the state capital and other district headquarters.